Tess has called from Cheshire. Uh, good morning, Tess. Can you survive a cheetah? Yes. <gasps> OK, tell, convince. Well, the thing is, he was a fantastic man in the first place. And then at the end, well, at the end, well, he, he cheated on me for 22 years. And I always knew when he had another woman because of his attitude and he'd try and get rid of me. But the thing is, uh, I said to him, I'm just going to be a thorn in your side. I said, I'd give up my home. I said, my kids are here with you, it, you know, in Cheshire. And I said, I'm going to be a thorn in your side and you will never, ever get rid of me. And he always wanted me to cheat on him. And he even had a tracker on me, which was a waste of space. What? Yeah, he had a tracker on me. So at the end of the day, it was like, yeah, right. And I said to him, I am priceless and nobody can afford me. So at the end of the day, I said, if you want to become, uh, you know, the victim, I said, I will never, ever give you that pleasure. Now, 11 years ago, yes, I did my marital vows till death is due part. And he died in my arms, because I live on a barge. So he died in my arms, and at the end of the day, I still stayed loyal, because I class myself as priceless. And the thing is, before he died, well, just after he died, I found out of a friend of his, he was going to leave me for his secretary, right? Because he was a solicitor, and she was called Tracy, and he was going to leave me for her. And I said, yeah, right. So at the end of the day, it was like, OK, you wanted to um, have your ashes put at St. Ives, which he always said he, he, he loved his ex-wife. Yeah, right. Boom. So at the end, thank you at for the end, calming your language there. <laughs> no, I said boom. I said I know, boom. No, 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 I said thank you. I said thank you, I meant it. Go on. Yeah. So the thing is, like, um, what I did, I stuck him in a field when he died... And because he was so cruel with me, he used to kick me out. I had to live in a van on, on, on the moorings in blizzards of snow, everything else. He was so cruel mentally. He tried physically, but I didn't get anywhere with that one because I knocked him out. And you know, that's another story. So, but the thing is, uh, yeah, he was so cruel. So I stuck him in his field, in a field. And you know what? I know I shouldn't say this, but. I stabbed his ashes. This does he, not. He, this so does I not sound like a woman who survived cheating. <laughs> to no, me, stabbed, this does not sound like a I woman. Stabbed, I stabbed his ashes because he was so cruel and everything else. Mental abuse. He tried physical. Why didn't you? I mean, look, you are one stubborn woman, Tess. I mean, you, you had so many opportunities to leave him, but you stayed in a hateful marriage where a man treated you badly just because you didn't yes, want him to... The thing is, I thought, well, why should I... Uh, I put 22 years in the marriage. But he cheated on you some, every year. why should I let somebody else come and take over what I put so much hard work into which I had, and the thing is, I had nowhere else to go. So, you know, I live on a barge, and he even tried to change the, the, uh, his name in, uh, in, into, the, into the boat. So I phoned up Peel Odins and said, I've not signed a contract, nothing, put this boat in my name. So it was so, you know, it was a solicitor. Yeah, right. But at the end of the day, I stabbed his ashes, and you know what? It was a weight off my shoulders. I, I don't even... I literally do not know where to go <laughs> with this conversation. Wow. Well, I mean, so you, you wouldn't... <laughs> you stayed in a miserable, horrible relationship rather than let any of these other women win, basically. Yes. And him win. You are one stubborn woman, Tess. No, one one clever one. <laughs> Did you get all his money? Uh, well, apparently his partner. Uh, okay, right. right. We had a business partner, and the thing is, I was the executor and the beneficiary, right? Mm. And the thing is, his partner at a solicitor's office, right? They stole over six million pounds from me. Six million. Six million. 
I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I literally, I'm, I'm, I, I am not, I am never speechless because that would be a really bad professional trait. But I no, literally have no is, idea where to go. Being, what is the point of being a beneficiary and an executor of a will and you don't get anything? I was conned. Well, uh, listen, I, um, what 